From ballistics, it could easily have been a triangle, too. All right. It doesn't matter if it was made in Shanti Shanti. All it has to do is use jacketed ammunition. And it does. Shanti Shanti. Visual calculus doesn't chime in often, but I appreciate when you do. following your motion with his gaze. His right arm twitches suddenly. Also, sorry, I forgot how fucking cool that portrait was. Yeah? Oh, you can see the lines tracing. It's old Cygnosis cover style. Looking like it's about to call me hacker. This looked very much like the murder weapon. It can be used against them to get a confession in time. Who are you? What have you been using this gun for? My name is Josef Lilianovich Dross, political commissar of the 114th Anti Aircraft Division of the 4th Army of the Commune of Revachol. I am a deserter, a partisan, and a prisoner of war. This is my term of surrender. His eyes turn to the reeds again, dead and dull. I just had a thought back to the story of the Japanese soldier who. Yeah, you're yeah, thinking. I thought it, the same you thing. You thought yeah. the same thing yeah, too, yeah, huh? Yeah. yeah. Didn't know the war was over. I but I, but like but that like but there's so many questions about the choice to intervene, to look in, to look on at the whirling and at life going on. Across the water. Yeah, it's not like he was really far from it. He saw civilization rise. Across. He's a deserter. He could have been here. Things could have absolutely played out in that way, but he would have been able to see it all through the glint of his scope. And then deciding to take that shot. <laughs> the Commune of Revachol? Do you mean the ICM? You're a holdover from the... From the Insul Indian Citizens Militia. The Army of the Revolution. I was recruited in Jamrock in 07. Trained in the École de Contrôle Orient. And consigned to emergency defense duties in 08. 40 plus fucking years ago. Yep. I left my unit on the eve of the landing. When I returned here on May 14th, the commune had fallen. Still armed and ideologically trained, I wrote a criticism of myself and resumed partisan duties. And there's the difference. He knew. 51 minus 8 equals 43. You've been on this island for 43 years? No. I've been on other islands, too. He looks into the fire. A wisp of smoke rises from somewhere between the charred logs. I was an resurrection until they turned it into a spa in 18. Then I was an E-48. A nameless sound until the sea washed over it. And then I came back here. That was 22 years ago. Again, you've been hiding here for 43 years. Yeah, you said you deserted your unit? What is this place? Silent. How long have you survived all this time? How have you survived all this time? How have you concealed yourself all these years? You said this is your termless surrender? So you're a communist soldier from the communist army? 43 years and 10 months. 
That's insane. That's steadfast. I don't even know what that is. It's inhuman. It's sick. It's not how a human being should live. But I had to. I couldn't just forget. Uh, I couldn't just forget what I saw. He grimaces, clearly in pain. He just couldn't give up. He nods. But he can now. What have you been doing during all this time? Hiding, fishing, waiting. He looks across the water. Where the afternoon grows late, on Rue de saint Ghislaine, people walk home. Street lights will soon be lit. Further inland, the streets are alive with workers, men, women, children, street hawks and migrant laborers. The temperature is steady. Alto cumulus clouds form above Precinct 41. Two police officers step out of the whirling in rags cafeteria. Satellite officer Jean Vicmer inspects a series of burnt black letters splashed across the plaza <laughs> mosaic. Patrol officer Judith Minot points west. The fishing village. She glances at her watch. We meet in 15 minutes. It's a 10 minute walk. The officers go, leaving behind the writing, still smoldering. One day, it says, I will return to your side. Always waiting. The old man turns his eyes from the shore and back to you. Again, he knew and saw and was watching everything. And if he could see the whirling, and if he could see the apartments, and if he could see the village, he probably could have seen you for the entire game. For her to return. For who? This is a circle. Mm hmm. It's a line of sight. Yep. And if you're a dot in all directions, you can completely survey it. Yep. That's fucked. That's fucking crazy. Girl child revolution. I've never heard of that Konami game before. <laughs> I'm afraid she's gone. She better come. I too have given my life to Mazovian socioeconomics. I dare not dream anymore. Nothing in history is guaranteed, but revolution is still a possibility. Yeah, she went, found a new bow, got knocked up, changed her name. She goes by failure now. The material base for an uprising has eroded. The working class has betrayed mankind and themselves. The historic opportunity for a revolution has passed. It will not come back anymore. However hard I try, whatever I do. What has he done? Perhaps a confession will lighten the load. What have you done then? Yes, what? To get things going again? Fan the flame? The lieutenant steps closer. There is no flame to fan. There is nothing left of the world, of our dreams. He stares right through Kim, blinking his dark eyes. Him. You think he saw in a world where we wrote Rene lives? <laughs> <laughs> Hell. <laughs> oh, does he? <laughs> oh, shit. You said you deserted your unit. I was just 16 years old. 15 when I volunteered. I had a lapse of faith. <clears throat> and of courage, too. Lapse of faith. You could say I misunderstood the historic role of the proletariat. 
and thought Mazovian socioeconomics were fallible. For a second, I doubted the irreducible laws of historic materialism. Sounds like someone's read Das Kapital. A second is all it took. For what? For reaction to take hold. Ooh. Did someone fail a check? What's reaction? Petit bourgeois terror. It's in all men. It wasn't reaction. You were just afraid. No, speed you're sitting four. here. It's here. Hey, how's it going? Yep. We all have a tiny bourgeoisie person in us. Trying to run away. I understand. Communists are natural cowards. Quantity over quality. <laughs> and when was this exactly? Hmm. It's the same thing. You haven't seen it. Not really. Not naked. It's impossible not to be afraid. It remains unclear what it is. He makes leaps he doesn't expect you to follow. And this was when? The lieutenant instinctively looks to his notebook, but does not take it out. May the 13th, 08. 44 years ago. The horizon was black with coalition airships. Their petroleum rose to the sky and it looked like, like it formed the clouds, storm clouds. When they started shelling, it was dark magic. But don't think about them. Sorry, I really want to know which one it was because it was fucking incredible. Maybe it was what I internalized. Perhaps not. Okay, it's all right. Sure. I forget which one it was. Was it a forgotten thought? Oh, uh, you know, it might be. Yeah, it, huh. might, it might be a forgotten thought. And we can't look it back at it. The combined might of international capital. All at once, all the greed and terror in the world tore into Revachol. It lifted streets from the ground and turned houses into ghosts. We were in the flak tower. The gestures towards it. Huddled on the floor. The artillery was 80 kilometers away in Ozon, but I knew, I knew the commune would fall. We would all be turned into ash. So I said I was going to the map room. He looks east. east. A terrible shame, still within him. The lobes of his ears are red with it. The shame and smallness of what he became. You didn't go to the map room? No. I climbed the chain link across the water and hid inland, in the bunkers there, like the weakest of the weak. A mouse, frightened of the ordinance all night and the sound of the rotors in the morning, whirring. He looks at the sky. What was that? Airships. I climbed out into hell. The landing was complete. The chain was submerged. I had to swim back. The fortress was half submerged too. Shattered. They'd all drowned in the lower levels, or got torn to shreds above. The anti-aircraft gun had malfunctioned. So had I. I left them without ideological direction. It was real. I'd seen it. I'd seen it in reality. He opens his eyes and stares right through you. Your fear saved your life. Half-light? 
half light. <laughs> Seen what? The mask of humanity fall from capital. It has to take it off to kill everyone, everything you love. All the hope and tenderness in the world. It has to take it off just for one second to do the deed. And then you see it as it strangles and beats your friends to death. The sweetest, most courageous people in the world. You Salad for a second. Fear and power in its eyes. Then you know. What? That the bourgeois are not human. You've lost your mind. I've always suspected the same. That's definitely enough now. He's completely right. It's what you have. It's what you do. It's the dehumanization process. It is. It is what they all do, and it's what's what's necessary to get to the point where you're willing to go that far. You have to dehumanize, or suffer the consequences later on. I had to. I had to fight it. I had to never stop. The old man falls silent. His black eyes keep piercing your skin as he looks to some great distance behind you, shaking his head slowly, retreating from it. Is he referencing fighting to keep from dehumanizing the enemy? Just to get his tense correct here? Yeah. That's a fucking battle. No. No, no. He, he's refer referencing fighting forever, of course. And that's why. That's why he's still here. Uh, what is this place? This island? It's not an island, Dwat. It's a defensive fortification of the commune of Revachol. And I am its last surviving defender. What was it used for? You know, you could say this is your inland empire. <laughs> okay, nice. You shot your shot. <laughs> the congenitally deformed King Philip II built it to restrict access to the Bay of Revachol. We captured it in 02, retrofitted the fort with an AA gun to defend against an airborne landing. The island is inland. The whole world. <laughs> It's empty, so it's his empire. Why are you booing me? I'm right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> the funniest jokes are the ones you fight for. The coalition <laughs> military called it Operation Death Blow. <laughs> I later found out on the radio they called it. Yeah, like he fought for the commune. Huh? Death Blow. You are one of them. Tell me, who speaks like that? We had 50 million people on Caillou alone. First, I'm not one of them. Coalition military. Someone who's come to end this madness. Murderers, I know what you mean. Tell me something else. Sure you are. You're our CM. Answer me. Who calls an operation against 50 million people? Death blow. Reggie, yes. are, we, are we the baddies? <laughs> I don't know. We may be. I don't know. Is it, I mean, we're just wearing a skull. So I, 
It's a, it's a fashionable skull, I know. It's very nice with the wings and everything, yeah. Iblis. Iblis. The black eyed angel. Hmm. How have you survived all this time? Hold on. It's not an island, but the congenital coalition Miller death blow. You are one of them. Tell me, who speaks like that? We had 50 million people on Caillou. You don't know. You haven't seen it. Iblis. He nods. How have you survived all this time? How does anyone survive? I steal. He looks at his worn running shoes. Now hold on there. That's a choice. You could have become self-employed. Create the system. Are those Jordans? Yeezys. <laughs> the slide era. Supplies, vegetables. I collect rainwater. It's the life of a dog, not a human being. <coughs> he coughs once more, then puts his hand on his belly. How is your health, Mr. Dross? I've been throwing up blood since winter. Red, like beetroot. Been passing it in stool, too. What made you take the shot? He does seem frail, gaunt for his age, more like 75 than 65. Trouble putting on weight could mean cancer. The shot that starts a war. DRCM can provide medical services. You need to be looked over. I need to die. You don't have medical facilities. You have guns. That's all they give you. Toy guns. A droll smile stretches across his mouth. We have Druramin and other opioid based painkillers. You must be in pain. This is a serious situation. You need to be looked over and we can do it. How have you coped mentally? Thank you for coming. I have, I have holes in my brain. Years missing. Others filled with pain only. A decade of. His eyes roll into his skull and back. I don't even know what. Inferno? And to think you could ride into the pale and possibly experience his shit. Yeah. In this world. I also live in hell. I also have holes in my brain. You notice the lieutenant is about to say something. I would imagine it gets tremendously difficult mentally to live in isolation. Very much so. Traitors. It's better alone. I watch the people of this city turn the lights back on more and more each year. Ruins glimmering in the dark like a fucking merry-go-round. Enjoying relatively comfortable lives. Getting used to living under their oppressors. Uh, oppressors over a fucking moral intern that took over it controls everything and in the end yeah. all that fire fades and the generation that was once fighting becomes complacent and passive and increment and, and incremental progress replaces, yeah <laughs> replaces what once was this fire <laughs> and he sits there for the whole time and watches it happen it's disgusting well, he looks down at his shoes his face parched from the sun and the wind there's the winds of pain in there somewhere. Are they not heartbroken? How could they have moved on? What did my unit die for? What was I running from that you don't care? That you don't remember? And he's seen it all. How have you concealed yourself all these years? It was hard in the tens. I didn't have partisan training. They were searching for stragglers, those bloodhounds. Floodlights on the water at night. There were posters, campaigns, 
We communards still hoped, and they needed to snuff that hope out. The East capitulated. Martinez and Cold City were turned to dust. But Jamrock, Forberg, even Coron, and Boogie Street, of course. Those fucking kips had Marsov coursing through their veins. <laughs> Even when he uses it, it's to say that they were true communists. Yeah. And others, too. Some cordons of Revachol were still fighting. There were cells. I tried to contact them. Soon they all went silent. The frequency's dead. How did you get between here and the mainland? Do you think Kim's gonna let it slide? Is there, on the, on the, the eight, you're in the let it slide age bracket? Yeah. Renee? Yeah. Renee class? You get one, old man. You get one. At night, I used a dinghy. I only went after dark then. When I got to the city, I stayed underground. Patrols, you lot, the commons too. They'd started snitching. In the city, you move underground? from bunker to bunker. Not anymore. No one cares now. I don't even have to hide. They think I'm another antisocial vagrant. I could walk straight into that town if I wanted. I just... He falls silent, his gaze fixed on the shacks huddled together across the water. And so... He took the shot at the people sent at what the moral lantern sends in or rather um, at what uh, the mercenaries that come in and sees one that I don't know like could he have read the tattoos could he have known more like is there more you know what I mean there's so many yeah, questions I don't about have enough information there's so many questions about like how and why he took the shot In that moment, in that way. Not even, anyway. Like, if someone's gonna go, the loin, it's gonna be the loincloth people, fair enough. But it's just like, what, what, what actually, you know? Well, anyway. What went down? Uh, so why don't you just walk there? I don't want to. They're all traitors. Pigs, rabbits, and dogs. Men without ideals are only animals. Also, we heard from Shivers earlier about the intricate tunneling system beneath the city. True. He does not want to see life moving on. People forgetting, drinking, laughing. Mm -hmm. The weapons cache under Saint Gislain 22B in the basement. Have you been there? So you finally found it. There must have been a small squadron's worth of arms in there. Elmer Graves, right? Oh, he looks at you then pulls the raincoat tighter around his neck. They were damaged beyond use. I know. So you've been there? Sleeping. <laughs> Some nights. Ammo scrounging on others. Those McGraves were shit, even before they corroded. Some had bullets in the chamber, however. You feel the dots connecting. Little dots on the map he's walked across. Continuing a one-man war in the middle of civilization. Yeah. There's a small bunker under the felled building. Have you stayed there? The propaganda bunker. <coughs> I used to, but not anymore. Propaganda bunker? They stored leaflets there. Broadcasting equipment, too. Made broadcasts, I think. Propaganda officers. I buried them with their leaflets. They killed themselves. Two young boys. Killed themselves? A lot of our boys did. I spent some winters there. Never liked it. Kept thinking of them. No need to go underground anymore. It's better in the ruins, on the ground. <laughs> 
he stares at the ruins of the Feld building. One more question. Do you smoke Tiamuri? Tiamotiri? Cigarettes? I do. <coughs> Ever smoke them on the mainland? They're good. Plenty of tar. I like that boy on the pack, too. Reminds me of the last century. Hmm. Yeah. A story about time moving on with a soldier out of time who doesn't have or doesn't understand how or why the battle is over is an incredibly interesting one and uh, is not dissimilar to uh, a story that myself and a friend wrote and actually were uh, talked about in a, an episode of Wooly We'll Figure It Out you can go tune in if you want more details on that but it's, it's similar to something that uh, we worked on in the past. It's really interesting stuff. The old man looks across the water at the city, the ruins, the motorways rising above it. You said this is your termless surrender. <laughs> You're with the RCM. The coalition appointed mob that enforces bourgeois morals in Revachol. A so-called Lieutenant W. Freighter. We're not coalition appointed. We just try to help people. Did I mention that it was even better than this story right here? <laughs> <laughs> we crushed it. <sighs> We're not coalition appointed. We're just trying to help people. That's right. We're with the good guys. We enforce the law. We keep the animals from killing each other. I know what it looks like, but I have secret plans to turn the RCM into a Mazovian revolutionary unit. We're with the RCM. Let's leave it at that. We are coalition appointed. Also, I might be a fucking stooge for La Puta Madre. <laughs> What do you think? Oh. Hmm. Yeah, five. That's how you think? That's, uh, that's how I feel. We're with the RCM. Good or bad? Hey, we're just doing our job. <laughs> you know? But the universe seems to be hinting at one. How do you feel? Hmm. You're the RCM. You represent the Moralist International. The enemies of humanity who took this city. I represent their adversary, Le Parti Communiste. Take me to them as a prisoner of war. I have relinquished my weapon. I can no longer serve. No superiors can relieve me of my duty. You bulldoze them all to a mass grave for trying to free humanity. <laughs> his hand shakes and he breaks into a coughing fit. A spray of blood from his mouth on the black charcoal in the fire pit. Rene, the royalist on the coast, said... You never signed the Revacholian Instrument of Surrender. Liberal reactionaries signed that instrument. Traitors who should have been burned alive. I answer to the Communist Party. Tring! 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 Hey Reggie, what's that sound? <laughs> Amaranth Sickle! Are you sure? It sounded like failure to me. <laughs> oh my god. Is that part of why you've been here all this time? Because the party didn't surrender? He just wipes the blood from his chin. Honorable. That's insane. Understood. 
you're insane. Radio shows, speed racing, sporting goods, none of it is real. <laughs> so you're trying to tell me <laughs> that you're a communist soldier from the communist army? <laughs> no, I am not a soldier. I am an ideological officer. I belong to the party, not to the army. But you said you were trained and assigned to the Defense Corps. You have your points. You really do. But you also don't need to die for the state. Trained in historical materialism, then assigned as a political commissar by the party. These things used to mean something. Wait, what does a political commissar do? The old man does not answer. He tilts his silver head and looks at the reeds. You see a small tremor pass through his legs. Rene fought for the nation. He fought for the state. Similar words, two yeah. concepts. Yeah. His job was to assure the army answers to civilian control and follow the ideology of the commune. The lieutenant says softly. Scientific communism. A commissaire politique is a night philosopher of the revolution. A future human. Hmm. The tracksmith, cl the tracksuit clad old man is suddenly reanimated. Couldn't, wouldn't have guessed it was a tracksuit. <laughs> I would have. He's got running shoes. I, I didn't see a tracksuit. Track he suit. had running shoes. He had running shoes. Oh, this this is this is in fall. What what year is this from? Awakened from shutdown by the promise of ideology, he was like a cleric, a shepherd. So you were like a priest. No, the opposite of that. A future human, not a human of the past. You're a trained communist. He nods slowly, then another tremor. Point to yourself. I'm also a communist. I'm a nationalist, by the way. I'm a moralist. I'm a revolutionary too. Today, the real revolutionizing is done by entrepreneurs. <laughs> I'm not really into politics myself. <laughs> wow! Of course, of course. There never was. There never was any other answer, Reggie. <laughs> But I'm curious to know how much of these fucks would force their shit. <laughs> there was never any other answer, but I wanted to know what you fucks were thinking. <laughs> Let's get it. You're Cha -ching! part of the meat shield. The human meat shield that surrounds the fascists and the license holders. You take the fire while they rape and kill. That's what you are. Detective, we have not come here to discuss ideology. The lieutenant gives you a stern look, then turns to the old man. That's probably the most blatant uh, check in the game, actually, or, or choice list in the game, in terms of just like, this is what I am. Yeah. We have come to ask questions regarding a murder investigation. The old man spits into the fire pit. He does not say anything more. A jitter passes his lower body. There's definitely something off with his body. Something more than just metabolism or even cancer. I have another serious question for you. There's nothing serious in this world. It's a farce. He looks at the gun in your hand. Composure white check. 
well, plus one more than his health. What have you been using this gun for? I've used it for killing people. Killing people? It's a gun. That's what they're for. You want a moralist euphemism? Defending your family and your property. I haven't done that. You haven't insured and reinforced the price stability? I've used it to kill people. Interesting. During or after the war? There is no after <sighs> the war. Class war is never over. He shakes his head and smiles, his teeth rotten black. Class war is never over. All right. So I'm just going to assume there is a fucking plethora of the deserter did nothing wrong. <laughs> Photos and memes ready to go. I'm going to assume I'm going to assume not only was the deserter right, but the deserter did nothing wrong. That's the, the ultimate. The ultimate. Oh, wow. So he's continued killing after hostilities ended. Okay. Okay. This is it. You can feel it like battery acid on the tip of your tongue. Something you haven't felt in a while. But, but what? This is what you live for. This is the shit. The great serotonin jackpot. The solution. Go in straight. No euphemisms. He doesn't like those. No, no. Be careful now. Slow and steady does it. Make him repeat it first. Don't mess this up. Remember, he wants to tell you. Get personal. None of you are volition. None of them. So you're saying you killed people after active fighting stopped? Did you use that gun to shoot and kill a colonel of the security contractor colonel? I know you want to tell me. Have you killed anyone with that gun in the last week or two? Wait, so which one do I say then? <laughs> Hesitate button. <laughs> Was it you? The who now? He leans in and cups his ear. Yeah, if he doesn't know, he doesn't know. He heard you. He just wants to hear you say it again. This is dramatic flair on his part. Right choice. We're in. Do it, sire. Gosh, okay, old man. Let's dance. A corpse in ceramic armor hanging behind the wording in rags. Did you shoot him? The fascist death squad who took a bullet in the mouth on the night of March 4th. His name was Ellis Cotonaya. He was part of a security detail here in Martinez. A beautiful, strong man sent here by the Honorable Private Military Company Colonel. You know who I mean. I can't believe you can click that. Oh, yes. That one. Ugly piece of work, that boy. He looks up at the sky and clicks his tongue. Did you? Kill him. The lieutenant takes a sudden step toward him. I am a son of a welder and an officer of the commune of Revachol. I do not collaborate with murderers and pederasts of the liberal regime. A drop of blood in the saliva. Exhaust him with proof. Pile it all on him. Get a confession. Riley says we don't snitch. The scent of blood in the air. But what else? There was something you can't remember. Something about the tracks. Suddenly, all those tracks are so confusing. Go with something else first. I don't need your cooperation. I've got this. Show him the Triangle 446. We've done ballistics. The shot came from this island. Come on. What am I what am I forgetting? Hit yourself on the side of the head. 
Let's see if we can get anything else here. Ballistics is pretty good, though. Wait, here it comes. The wow. goddamn Maybells. The dried Maybells on Clausia's roof. My head hurts now. Who cares? There were Maybells in the grass when you got here. And on Clausia's balcony. Is this a coincidence? Wait, don't forget the footprints. The diagonal prints in the dust in the secret space <laughs> behind Clausia's bedroom. Now... They're gonna come up. Ow. Yes, ouch. So good, it hurts. Those were not modern prints. Maybe don't beat yourself anymore, though. You're not immortal. Okay. Maybells behind the victim's window. I saw them growing here. I wonder what brand of boots you're wearing. And we've seen the others. Okay. What are you gonna go with? Let's see what he says about the ballistics, even though we've got something else on it. I saw you poking around there, looking for evidence. You're damn diligent when it comes to dead fascies. Did you like the view? The jitter passes him. You had direct visibility. There are embrasures in the concrete, specifically meant for a top follower to use. And you had a long range rifle in your possession. The lieutenant softened his voice. You've been here a long time, Mr. Dras. Too long. You clearly need medical aid. He also had 43 years to line up the shot. I'm ready to die. <coughs> I've done my part. He's practically admitting to it. Dead fascists for fascists. Done his part. You said fascists? You're admitting you killed him? It's the best uninterrupted line of sight into the window in all of Martinez. The view was perfect. With a pair of binoculars, I could have seen in the room. Because it's a sniper's nest, you stupid fuck. Radio Gosh is right. You have worms in your brain. Another sudden twitch, then one more, one in his right eye. Almost. He almost burst out there. Keep piling arguments. Anything. Maybells. Or we can show him the bullet. Yeah, let's go with this. Damn Maybells. The whole island is turning white with them. He seems tender suddenly. Nostalgic even. A strange mood swing. So many this year, too. The spring is coming. No, it's already here. Wash the filth away. I haven't seen these flowers anywhere else in Martinez, only here. They blossom on the islets before. We fertilize them with our blood. Resurrection was snow white in May before they ruined it. He looks to the water. South, the Bay of Martinez is dotted with little freckles of islets, turning green, with white flowers in white snow. The coast, too, before they piled their containers on top of it, filled with broken, useless trash for fat-fingered bourgeois children to play with. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that did happen. You must get around a lot to stay undetected all these years. Do you know any secret paths? Pinball workshops? I may. A curious tremor passes his face. A young woman called Classia. Ring any bells? Classia. He knows her, but hadn't heard the name. Yes, Classia. You hadn't heard her name, had you? You know her, right? She had intimate relations with the victim. The mercenary. My ears don't reach the city. With the victim. He turns his sight from the whitening field of flowers and falls silent. Then the muscles in his jaw twitch, a spasm. There is a small tremble. Looks like a smile. A crooked smile. Yet isn't quite voluntary. He's about to burst. Almost. But you need one more. Just one. Or maybe two. 
Here it is. <laughs> Not a lot of guns around that use military grade ammunition, are there? It's a real gun. Not like your little musketeer pistol. I've seen you prance around with that. Jumping hoops for the liberals. You look like imbeciles. Why don't you ask them to give you real weapons? <laughs> Going against automatic rifles with these toy guns. Of course you got those boys killed. <laughs> Damn, he saw you. He's watched it happen. Shit. So he saw you. Okay. So what? Don't let it divert you. We saved a lot of them. Their leader, Titus. We handle that situation. Stop changing the subject. We have the murder weapon. Okay then. You know what? You're right. I'm convinced this made the shot. Should we call it? The lieutenant looks at the weapon demonstratively. You think we have the murder weapon? 4.46 jacketed ammunition. Modified for range. We have it. This is it. I'm calling it. We have the murder weapon. Good. The lieutenant takes out his notebook and draws a single line. This feels good, doesn't it? Tearing things up like this. When you have the murder weapon, you have the killer. 